Hey, Rob, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Um, hey, uh, uh, on Sunday night and then again today, Coach Woodson talked about your uh, the pick and roll to offense and just that part of your guys' games just just hasn't really been where you want it to be yet. But he was kind of general in talking about it. I was wondering if you could just, in sort of the short term, talk a little bit more specifically about what you guys are trying to accomplish uh, with those sets that's, that, that hasn't been happening for you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like we haven't really been scoring as much as we, we've we been scoring like in practice like we have. So, uh, yeah, really we need to just execute and get into our offense a little bit faster. Um, I feel like our pace on offense isn't how it should be. So, like, once we get to playing with a lot more pace, the, uh, the ball screen will work out better for us. Matthew Byrne. Uh, hey, Rob, hope you're doing well. Uh, in the past three to four game stretch, it looks like you're playing with uh, a lot more confidence. Uh, what are one to two things you think you've improved on in that span or potentially something in the offseason that's clicking uh, at this point in, in the season? Um, really just I would just say just being aggressive, really um, just looking for my shot more, looking for the open spots, uh, the spots I know I can make shots at. So uh, really, my teammates have gave me confidence and um, it really starts in practice with me. So. Just uh, taking every day serious, being more aggressive um, in practice, and I feel like it translates to the games. Kevin Brockway. I'm curious, Rob, what it was like going through that stretch of practice with the lids on the rims, and uh, how do you get the rebounding up uh, coming off the Penn State game, and how can the guards help in that regard, too? Oh, yeah, it's going to have to be a team effort. Just um, they have a, a lot of big guys down there, so that was a big emphasis in practice this week. Um, so we know, uh, like we said, Zach, Key, Liddell, and even uh, Brunk and Kyle Young coming in off the bench playing. So it's going to be a team effort, and all five guys are have to rebound. Dustin. Uh, hey, Rob. Um, Coach Woodson also talked on Sunday about um, – but ball screen defense, in particular, that stretch where they made seven shots in a row. I guess what did you, what did you see go wrong there? Basically, and is it is is that more of a blip to you? I guess, or is that something that you, or is there uh, a trend that you've seen of issues with ball screen defense? No, I feel like it's a it is a trend. I mean, it's even in the past, really. I feel like we did a good job of blowing up their their sets early, and um, I feel like that's what that's what they went to when they didn't have anything. So. Uh, but that was another big emphasis in practice this week, playing ball screen defense and just um, guarding them different coverages because we're going to see a lot of ball screens once Big Ten, well, as as the season progresses. So just being able to be up stabbing at the ball and having our backside in place is going to help us. Evan. Hi, Rob. Uh, how have you been able to embrace uh, the role of being kind of like the sixth man for this team? Uh, I mean, it's it's something, I mean, it's starting the summer. I mean, going to the Bahamas trip, just knowing that and uh, just bringing the energy off the bench. That's Coach Woodson's big thing. You don't, I'm mean, try not to look at it coming off the bench. You look at it as I'm still a starter still. I still play starter minutes and I have a huge role with the team. So I'm really embracing it. Um, I just try to lead the, lead the guys off the bench, Scoop, Anthony, Big Mike, Jordan. So I just want to bring energy and try to have a boost once I come in the game. Tyler. Hey, Rob, I hope you're doing well. Um, obviously, you've dealt with uh, injuries um, for, for the last couple of years at IU and um, at, the at the beginning of this year as well. Um, how do you kind of get through that mentally? How, how do you work through, um, you know, having to continue to kind of get your body back right and, and having to sit out? Uh, yeah, it's a, it is kind of a challenge. I feel like that's, that's kind of what delays me in games sometimes. I feel like I think too much. I think more about the injury instead of, just going out there and playing, playing free. So, uh, yeah, like you said, the past couple of games, I've got, I've gotten a lot, a lot better throughout the season. So I feel like I'm playing a little bit better, but I just have to go out there and play with a clear mind and um, just not think too much about what I'm doing out there. Mike Schumann. Yeah. Hey Rob, coach also talked today about wanting to, to play a little bit faster, get out and transition a little bit more. I get, I guess as the point guard, what are the keys that you look for in, in that go, no go decision? And um, do you have to, you know, kind of test yourself in terms of your judgment? If he wants to go faster, you got to push things a little bit more. Yeah, really. It's, I feel like it's really up to the point guards. I mean, if guys are running, you have to get on guys and tell them to run the wings harder. And I mean, if the bigs are running, you have to tell them to run harder too. So. It's really a team effort. Everyone has to run harder. Um, I feel like that's when we're best playing in transition, getting easy strikes to the basket, getting the bigs, the ball quick. 
quick on entry passes. So, yeah, I mean, it's a really a team effort. Everyone has a running hard. Alex. Hey, Rob, thanks for the time. I'm curious, uh, you guys, the three losses that you've had have come by a combined total, I think, of 10 points. It, you know, what, what, I guess, can you guys do differently as a team down the stretch in games to kind of get over the hump and close out those close games? And also, is that something that you guys talk about as a team or somebody, the leaders on the team, talking about just kind of execution down the stretch? Because obviously the coaches can put you guys in a position to win, but ultimately it comes down to – you guys executing the game plan. Yeah, that was another big emphasis in practice this week. Um, like you said, we, we've we had leads in the past, the past three games, or we were tied up and we just have to go out and execute. So biggest thing with the coaches, is uh, the little things is what they talk about a lot. So um, just whether it's a box out, whether it's uh, locking down with five seconds left on the shot clock and stop, because there was a couple of times in the Penn State game that happened. So really the little things and just making sure we locked in because we know every every little play can change the game. Jim Coyle. Hey, Rob. Uh, thanks. Um, as a play guard and someone who has been here uh, for a few years to get some new faces, uh, how, how can you try to get people like Miller Cop uh, and Parker more involved, get more shots, uh, maybe more? Is it a, a lack of confidence that they're not – they don't seem to be intertwined with the offense quite yet? I know a lot has to go through Trace Jackson and uh, and Xavier's doing a good job with the ball as well. But you guys, how do you get everybody involved? Um, Really, I would just say it starts with point guards, just getting to their spots. I mean – I feel like just getting in, getting in the paint when a when a play breaks down, we have to do a better job of getting in the paint and creating for others. Um, that's the big thing coach wants us to do is run the team. So whether it's I mean calling calling the bigs up for the ball screen, I feel like that really tightens the defense up because uh, everyone really focuses on Trace when he's rolling. So just getting downhill and creating for the for others is our big thing. Dustin. Rob, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Scoop earlier, Tamar Bates. I mean, what's um, what's imp what impressed you? I guess especially initially, uh, when you see that kid on, on campus, that the confidence that he has, and uh, you know, he's obviously had a bit of a slump. How have you seen him work through that? Oh no, I feel like I mean, just because he's not playing well in games, is it doesn't really change the way he's playing in practice and the way he approaches the game. I mean, he still works on his game every day. He's a super confident kid. Um, I mean, he really loves the game and he takes the game very serious. So. I mean, no one's really worried about him uh, the way he's been struggling the past games, but everyone's really confident in him, knows he's going to make, make the shots and he's going to keep being him. Last question, Tom Brew. Rob, uh, Coach Woodson said that uh, Trey's been, uh, Galloway's been back in practice and doing things and uh, probably ready to go. With, uh, since you've been there, to, can you just tell us a little bit about how Trey's looking and, uh, and how much he's getting done in practice? Oh, he's looking really well. I mean, even him, he's using he's using a lot of ball screens now too, and uh, he can really create for others. I feel like that's that's where he's at his best on offense when he's getting downhill and creating for others. So he's gonna he's gonna really help us, and I feel like putting him in the rotation is gonna help our offense a lot.